A Wellness Minute from your friends at Sunflower Shop. Summer's here and that means it's time for sunscreen. Hi, I'm Kim, a nutrition specialist at Sunflower Shop. A few years ago I was putting sunscreen on my kids and I noticed that it was actually taking the nail polish off of my fingernails. I used to choose my sunscreen based on what was on the front of the bottle, but really the most important information is the ingredient list on the back. A good sunscreen will protect you from both UVA and UVB rays. And just because a product says it has a high SPF or that it's waterproof or especially for kids doesn't necessarily mean that it's safe and effective. Did you know there is only a difference of 5% protection between an SPF 15 and SPF 50? In fact, the SPF or sunburn protection factor is only a measure of how well a product will protect you from UVB rays. These are the rays responsible for the common surface sunburn and can vary in intensity based on location, season, and time of day. The real key to protecting yourself against sunburn is adequate coverage and reapplying every two hours, no matter what product you use. UVA rays are different. They don't vary in intensity and can actually penetrate clouds and glass. These are the rays responsible for deep connective tissue damage and aging. Many of the products on the market today do not offer broad spectrum protection from both the short and long wavelength UVA rays. The only chemical ingredient that provides complete protection is avobenzone, so check the label for that. Chemical sunscreens like these work by absorbing the sun's rays and must be applied 20 minutes before exposure to allow time for it to absorb into the skin. Physical sunscreens do not absorb into the skin but sit on the surface and they act to block or scatter the sun's rays. They begin to work immediately after application. When it comes to physical barrier sunscreens, the ingredient that's been proven safest is zinc oxide. This mineral offers full protection from both UVB and UVA rays, and it's biodegradable and coral reef safe. If you want to avoid potentially harmful ingredients, choose products without oxybenzone and retinol palmitate. Non-nanoparticle sunscreens seem to be the safest choice for now until proven otherwise. And a spray-on product may offer convenience, but because of the potential health risk when these products are inhaled, I choose a lotion-type sunscreen only. So, before you spend any more time in the sun this summer, let one of our highly trained nutrition specialists help you choose the right product for your skin protection needs. Come on in and see us at the Sunflower Shop, where great health is just a way of life.